Hello, welcome to One Moment Wiser. This is Christy Bridges and it's Thankful Thursday. Today, let's thank God that we smell good. 2 Corinthians 2, 14 through 16 says, Thanks be to God who always leads us in triumphal procession in Christ and through us spreads everywhere the fragrance of the knowledge of him. For we are to God the aroma of Christ among those who are being saved and those who are perishing. To the one, we are the smell of death. To the other, the fragrance of life. And who is equal to such a task? You know, it's spring and I am already poking my pots to see if there are any basil shoots coming up. I'm watching my time, just waiting for those new leaves to come out. And I'm rubbing my hand over the oregano that's here all year long, just so I can get an anticipatory sniff. I don't know anyone who wants to chew on oregano or suck on a sprig of thyme, but when I put them in a pot and simmer them with some olive oil and tomatoes, pretty soon my whole house smells amazing. None of us alone is equal to the task of being a perfect representation of God the way Christ, Jesus was. But when we let God do his work to bring out and share our individual traits, we become so fragrant together that the world's tummy starts to rumble. And what goes better with tomato sauce than some gooey mozzarella on garlic bread? Hmm. But what would mozzarella be if someone didn't add some irritants and then agitate it until it firmed up? It would just be old sour milk. Don't be sour milk. Be part of the body of Christ and be grateful, even though sometimes you might get irritated or agitated. You will add to that irresistible aroma that draws people to their loving creator and redeemer. God bless you.